This building was initially a uh, mob bar. It was called the Zebra Lounge. Uh, Johnny Toko was actually affiliated with the mob. Nobody's quite clear on how, but he moved here from St. Louis because somebody mysteriously uh, died in his restaurant in St. Louis. And that's one of the reasons why he left uh, St. Louis, came here, but under the premise of that he wanted to get more involved in the business of boxing, because he had a gym out there. So he moved the gym here and uh, he asked you know, the people he knew in the mob if he could turn their lounge that they weren't really using into a gym and they were like, sure, go ahead. A few years later, Blinky Palermo, famous gangster and also a boxing manager, brought him a kid. Hey, this kid's from your hometown. He's got a few pro fights. We want to get him up there. You want to train him? He said, sure. Turned out to be Sonny Liston. And Sonny Liston is the guy that made this gym, made it famous. Once the heavyweight champion was training here, pretty much every fighter had to at least come see the place. The thing that makes Johnny Tokos unique and special is that it has not changed. I mean, we probably have the same roof we've had since the 50s. It's an old school gym. You don't have all that hype and all the fame and all that stuff. You got a real, a real gym. You know, you come in, you like, yeah, this is a real gym. It might be a little hole in the wall, a little beat up a little bit, but it, it's, it's my home and it makes me feel comfortable and it's, it's just what it is. People come from all over the world and just, uh, they walk in and it's like, they, they want to kiss the floor and it's, I'm like going, whoa, you know, this place is something. The atmosphere, it smells like a boxing gym, it looks like a boxing gym. We don't have any fancy, you know, machines in here. We got a bag room, we got two rings and they just do what they do. They learn, you know, how to box. It's the kind of place where you walk in, you get the impression you might get beat up. And fighters, as well as some recreational people, love that because it brings the authenticity of boxing. You know, it's not fancy with a lot of newfangled gear and equipment. It, we're very simplistic. We have rings, we have bags, and that's about it. But I tell you what, all the coaches in there love, just love boxing, and they love helping the kids, and just love being a part of it. When you see, uh, you see the coaches enjoying helping the kids, and the kids just, you know, smiling and they got a place to come. So that, I think that's pretty much why I'm, I'm still in it. <laughs>